So, so today we're starting a new Pixmon series. Um, now, for some reason, my recording software didn't um, record the audio, so we're going to do a voiceover. Yay! So um, we choose a starter. Let's choose one. Uh, if I remember correctly, we choose Foy Coco. So let's see. And we do choose Foy Coco, but it um, doesn't work, and then we've got to choose Foy Coco again. So we spawn in a village. Now that's guaranteed. Um, when you play Pixelmon, if you don't know what Pixelmon is, it's basically like Pokemon in Minecraft. Like that goal look is in Minecraft. Yay! So you're basically, when you play Pixelmon and you load up a new world, you're guaranteed to spawn in a village. Now, I didn't like this village. I don't know why. I can't remember. But um, yeah, we we decided to move straight away. And coming out of this house, we find a pink Pidgey. Now, if you know anything about Pokemon, it's not a shiny. It's basically a version from the anime. So, um, to catch Pokemon in Pixelmon, you just have to right-click when you're holding a Pokeball. So, yep. Um, and it ends up breaking out. Then we catch it. Then we start a battle with this Nencada to level our Poikoko up. Because... By, le by battling, you level your, your Pokemon up so you can evolve them. Now, guys, if you ever see any of these structures, make sure you right-click on the Master Ball because the Master Ball could actually give you a Master Ball. It's actually like a loot chest or whatever, um, and you get something from it. So, yeah, um, it's not guaranteed to be a Master Ball, but it could be a Master Ball. For those who, of you who don't know what a Master Ball is, it's basically like um, it guarantees to catch a Pokemon. So if you want to catch a Legendary, then guaranteed to catch the Legendary if you throw a Master Ball at it. Now, finally, after searching for ages, we finally find a village. But there's a problem with it. Before I realise that problem, I start looting the village and getting all the potions and pokeballs because I think I'm going to live here. But we even find an Arceus temple and this is getting it to be an even better place to live. But if you don't know what an Arceus temple is, it's basically like um, you, put, you find things from around your world and you right click on it. And you get a flute that helps you get Arceus. Arceus is like a legendary Pokemon. It's really powerful. But the problem I was talking about. So there's a building in Villages. And that's why we live in Villages. But this building heals your Pokemon. It's like a healing building. But there was none in here. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, There's usually one in the village. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I decided to find another village and that took so long guys so long if you ever see desert worlds guys make sure you go to them because in them is that master ball loot chest remember how we're talking about how to give your master ball so yeah that's quite important then we found a red apricorn tree which is basically um how you make pokeballs but i saw a structure over there i didn't want to leave the apricorn tree because it hadn't of the apricorns hadn't grown yet, so we couldn't have got it. But we left it, um, so it could grow. And we found this. Now, this is a Pokestop. Um, if you play Pokemon Go, it's a Pokestop. And you just got to right-click on it, and you get cool stuff. Um, we got a golden, shi not shiny lure, little case, which helps us craft shiny lure. Oh, my inventory is full, so I have to get the stuff. But after that, we finally find a village. Now, this village has the healing thing, which is good. Now, I would just like to say that um, I stopped my recording and started again because I don't know, I just did. And um, it, and it works, the audio works. And another Master Ball, guys! What we get? Expert belt. Okay, that's not a Master Ball. So, guys, I also caught a Bulbasaur. So I can't find the point, but I caught a Bulbasaur. Um, and we started to level it up. Right, because I wanted to evolve from any sort before we ended the episode. And with this Scorpy, guys, we are leveled up. Our And our Bulbasaur will evolve. Our Bulbasaur is evolving, guys! Our Bulbasaur is evolving into Ivysaur. This is so cool. And this will make um, Bulbasaur much more powerful so we can actually use it. Evolve. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to see my Ivysaur. Nice Ivysaur. And then we should evolve it into Venus or soon. Now, guys, we're going to actually do a raid. So a raid is basically where we go in and we just got to fight this sand troop. 
till it dies. And I'm hoping we can actually fight it. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're powerful enough to take it down. I'm hoping we are though. Oh, we just got one shot. Okay, we just got one shot, guys. Let's hope the AI can, the AI bots can carry us. AI bots, come on. Come on, we can get back in though, guys. If the AI bots carry us, if the bots carry us. Yeah, see, we're back in now, guys. As long as the sanctuary doesn't go for us. We should be able to take it down and get some pretty good rewards. You usually get some pretty good rewards from these. Now, this is just a level one. But what rewards do we get, though? Let's see. Okay, so extra that, that candy. That's good. Let's use Fire Ball to catch it. Let's see if we catch it. One, two, and a three, and just break out. Oh, no, we catch it, guys. That's, that's pretty good. Now, one thing we get that is very important. Where'd it go? Oh, it's there. It's on the ground. Okay. Now, one thing we get is that is very important to extra large small candy. So that means that we can give our Ivysaur some levels. But I'm not actually going to give my Ivysaur levels because everything around here is very is going to smash um is going to smash Pokoko because they're all rock and ground because if you don't know um in Pokemon rock and ground beat fire and Pokoko is a fire type so we're going to actually give this to Pokoko give it oh my god that is a lot of levels that is woof we get rid of that move and then we'll get we'll give him the second one okay Pokoko level 14 now, actually, Foy Coco, we should be able to beat this Bidoof here. Using it going for Bite. Okay. Oh. Okay, so, we got some XP on that. That's nice. Because we're trying to get Foy Coco to Procolor. Procolor, I think, is the middle stage evolution. Um, so, that, that'll that be good. Um, But let's keep grinding our Ivysaur, though, guys. Oh, guys, what's that? Is this a... Now, this might be a gym, but let's see what it is. Because it looks cool, whatever it is. It looks really cool. Okay, we do not want to battle that, but we'll, I will remember that, though. And let's actually test out our new Sandshrew against this magma. It Okay, so it does have Dig, that's good. Is Dig going to one-shot it? Oh, guys, Dig one-shots the... What um I forgot that, what the name of that Pokemon was, but it one shots it, whatever its name was. Oh guys, a Pokestop. Okay, so Pokestop time. What do we get? We could get one of those those things that level. Oh, we didn't get anything that levels them up. Pokestop's evolving, guys. Guys, so Pokestop is gonna evolve into Crocolore, I believe it is. Yes, go fight Coco. Evolve, come on. You got this fight, Coco. Yes. Now, oh, I said boss there. We might be able to fight that boss Cubone. Crocolore. Evolve into Crocolore. Now, I'm... That Cubone boss will come back to that one. I'm just going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revive my Ivysaur because it's a bit dead. And then we'll fight that boss. Let's hope it's still there. Um, when we revive, after we revive our stuff, because I'll be very sad if it isn't still there. Let's go. Now, bosses. You can't catch bosses, and they are, um, they're just, oh, pink ticklet. Okay, we'll catch that later. Where's the boss? Better still, there it is. So you can't catch them, and they're just there to beat, basically. So, Ivysaur, we're setting out Ivysaur. What's this Cubone? Oh my god, as you can see, it nearly one shot. Okay. We won't be able to defeat this, guys, but I'll, I'll try. We're literally 1 HP. Oh my god, are we going to survive with 1 HP?
We're defeating it though, guys. We're literally defeating it with one HP, as you can see down here. We just gotta hope. We just gotta hope. Yes, guys, we, we defeated it with one HP. Seed bomb. Power 80. Okay. Oh, we, we got some of this. Now, I don't know what Dynamax candy actually does, but I've heard that I think it it helps a bit. A candy that is packed with energy, we can choose will raise the Dynamax level of a single Pokemon. A higher level means higher HP when Dynamax. Okay, I don't think any of our Pokemon can actually Dynamax, but good to know, I suppose. Guys, I'm so loving into Venusaur. I just completed a raid and did some and got some of that thing. Venusaur, let's go! Yes, guys, we have ourselves a Venusaur! Yes! Right, is this is this move any okay, this move is better than Razor Leaf. Yes! Let's go, guys! We got ourselves a Venus. Oh yeah, I, for, I forgot you can ride them. You can ride Pokemon if you right click on them. <laughs> but um, but anyway, let's go. Oh, thirty six by the way. That they evolve. Well, it was thirty six um when I was playing around before for for a Coco. I mean, uh, Crocolore to evolve into. I'm gonna get this wrong. Skull Dirge. Skull Dirge. I think that's what Spinal Evolution is called. Anyway, I don't know. But Venusaur is now leveled up. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. If I film the second episode and it's out now, that will be on the screen. Um, see ya!